Yeah, hi, welcome to the Oak Trader Report on the 25th of March. These charts were put together around half one in the morning Hong Kong time um, yesterday, and I'm just recording this today just to see the effect of today's open on the market as well, just to make sure on some of the positions that I've looked at. This is quite a new list in here, Micronet, ticker symbol MICT. You can see it's developing somewhat of a base here, but these types of bases... Um, just under a year long aren't really long enough to tell what's going to happen in the future um, but it's starting to show some promise but I wouldn't touch this stock unless it broke six dollars if it breaks six dollars and closes above that a nice uptrend should develop but where it is now it should just be left alone and watched to see what develops in the future ticker symbol ASTC and by the way all these are in the defense sector just looking at the different stocks in that particular sector and at least 10 of them are in full-on uptrends and look like they're in the parabolic stage of spiking about six or seven stocks look like they're in severe downtrends and these are the stocks that I've found that I believe uh, have potential for a rise in the future so these could be the new players in the defense sector at some point soon you see the great accumulation action here on the daily chart very tight parameters of 20 cents on the chart and you can see it moving up here I don't particularly like to see these parabolic spikes up from 120 to 4 and it's dropped off nicely uh, lost uh, its value by a significant amount you can see this trend just break in here I don't think this is the point to buy in um, anymore at the moment but it does look like it's building some sort of a base here just to confirm once it breaks the 240 level and closes above that and starts forming perhaps some sort of shoulder here this is the shoulder one here where my mouse is this is the head and the one around the 260 280 level that may develop in the future will be another shoulder and if that happens then I believe it will spike from there so we're just waiting to see how price action develops with ASTC and this is it on the monthly you can see it's had quite a long history of action huge downtrend only really ending in 2008 it's been snaking along moving up coming back down moving up coming back down and it may stay that way for a while longer but I have the feeling from looking at the daily chart that something's developing here and this stock may well be about to take off for a mega uptrend just like we saw a mega downtrend here I believe in some some point if price action confirms my opinion in terms of the shoulder developing on the daily chart we could see quite a powerful uprise in this particular stock um, and move to around the five to six maybe even the ten dollar level over the next year RADA RADA another stock that's been basing along nicely only two dollar parameters this is one of the best ones I've found making a very nice pivotal point bottom here bouncing off it for a false move upwards breaking out of the triangle and now bringing everyone down and, and and at this point here where my mouse is any shareholder that's been through this for four or five years if they're unfortunate and enough to buy too early would be totally negative on this stock and I feel throughout the last year and a half this market is being heavily accumulated here I wouldn't be surprised at some point in the next year to see RADA break through the four dollar level and begin quite a large uptrend uh, a mega uptrend so this stock's looking very very promising for the future and just waiting for it really to break out of the sideways consolidation area and to show itself on the technical side of the market ISSC you can see here the big spike it up uh, had here from 450 to 9 it's come back down it seems to be well supported the markets come back up again and it looks like it's uh, playing the old game of testing people's patience while staying in a consolidation range back down here for a double bottom and you could look at this point here um, all the way to this point and then the spike up here and then the perhaps what some people might term as quite a large bear flag and break out on the upside so we'll have to wait and see how that develops I'll show you it on the longer term chart you can see where the base action huge mega downtrend the beginnings of a false move back down for reaccumulation 
the double bottom here where I showed you and then the spike up the consolidation sorry the double bottom was here but you had one back here during the accumulation base action this action I'd term as a consolidation and to me it looks like it's developing further power for a move upwards and I would say this market uh, can easily go in the next couple of years to 12 to 18 dollars and I think a big bull market's going to develop in this particular stock ISSC in my mind is looking very good for the future ticker symbol TATT very tight parameters of 20 cents a nice uptrend developing where my mouse is and then consolidation actions with some shakeouts to knock out some stops that have followed the market too closely or trend followers and you can see here that the market uh, looks to be consolidating and you can see it here on the monthly you, the technical sign it's broken this trend here it's also broken this sideways trend which is very important and also we have a head and shoulders bottom and it's breaking out of that of course it may be subject to a setback but I'm fairly confident that even if it did have a setback it won't be anything detrimental in terms of its long-term future and we should see this stock easily move up to 12 to 14 dollars over the next year or two this one's looking pretty good um, again it may take a year or two to really develop into a powerful uptrend uh, but I um, have and was buying into this stock believing that the move may uh, come very soon I may have to uh, reevaluate the situation if it does have a shake out back down to six and see what the market would do from there um, but I'm fairly confident if it did break down to six that we we would see an even bigger parabolic move upwards and a very nice uptrend developing but if we do see the uptrend developing from this move here where my mouse is I think we could see twelve dollars by the end of the year pretty easily ticker symbol GY Gen Corp I wanted to show this and um, put this up here to show you a fantastic consolidation level it spiked up from the lows in 2009 came back down great accumulation a full start here to come back down and then if you draw a line along here um, this spike move here breaks the downtrend and you can see the technical picture of the market changing and an uptrend developing and the uptrend looks to be getting steeper and steeper and should develop into somewhat of a parabolic spike moving higher from here I wouldn't necessarily be trading it at these levels um, but I do believe it's got some more juice left in this but at the moment I'm fairly happy with this market it hasn't really broken any long longer term trends like where my mouse is here you draw a line just about with this spike down but once we see some wild swings five ten dollar moves within the space of a week or so that will be the cue that the first signs of distribution are on top of us ticker symbol ESLT and I want to put this up here fantastic head and shoulders you can see with the downtrend the market develop usually from these shorter term actions and um, they can accumulate a lot on these dips that dips uh, dips down because of the panic selling that goes on and the head and shoulders bottom develop from here and I would say that this market easily has the power to go up to around 70 to 75 with potential to go up to 90 it hasn't really started its spike up uh, we could see some wild swings here a little bit between 55 and 60 um, but the odds are saying that it would break out of this consolidation area on the upside and head up to around 70 to 75 over the ensuing weeks okay that's it for now there's a couple of articles on the members section as well for anyone who hasn't gone on there and checked hope you're all having a good day and i'll speak to you soon Bye for now.